Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So, uh, Mushroom relies on the same uh, basic set of tools as recording and mixing, but generally all these tools are more precise. So, and in this video, I speak about my top two uh, plugin equalizers I will use most of the time in 2020. Three. I will speak about their best features and uh, show them in uh, practice. So before we start, please remember, if you have a mic that you need mastered, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get started. One of the most important duties of the mastering engineer is fixing the frequency balance of a project if it is needed. Of course, this is done with an equalizer, but the type used and the ways it's driven is generally far different than during recording and mixing. Well, in recording, you might use a large amount of EQ anywhere from 3 to 15 dB at a certain frequency. Mastering is almost always in a very small increments, usually in tens of a dB to two or three at the very most. What you will see is a lot of small shorts of EQ along the frequency band, but again, in a very small amounts. For example, this might be something like plus one dB at 30 Hertz, plus 0.5 at 60, plus 0 0.2 at 120, minus 0 0.5 at 800, minus 0 0.7 at 2.5K, plus, uh, say, 0 0.6 at 8K, plus 1 at 12K. Notice that there's a little happening at a lot of places. And other techniques that uh, used frequently is known as uh, feathering. This means that rather than applying a large amount of EQ at a sing single frequency, you add small amounts at the frequencies adjoining the main one. For example, instead of adding plus 3 dB at 100 Hz, uh, you would add uh, plus uh, 1.5 dB at 100 and plus 0.5 dB at 800 and 120. Mastering is one um, area where large amounts of EQ are in the indication that there's something wrong with the mix. In mastering equalization, less is definitely more. In fact, uh, there's no one best EQ for mastering as it largely depends on the specific, specific audio material and the desired outcome. To me, the best EQ for mastering is one that allows for precise and transparent adjustments to the audio while preserving the overall balance and character of the mix. In my mastering chain, I almost always begin with a subtractive EQ and to uh, correct stuff before compression, if needed. Then proceed to sweetening an analog like uh, EQ where tight low end and uh, a pristine high end is the focus. This second EQ is often working pull tech style where only two, four bands are really needed. In this um, connection, I want to give you my top two mastering plugin EQs I will um, use most of the time in 2023. First one is Mat Orange EQ. It is a linear phase EQ. It is particularly designed for restoration, cleaning up issues, getting resonances resolved, and it uh, creates a certain sense of openness, so to say. So as a rule of thumb, I always use its uh, low-cut filter. Now some mastering engineers would say, oh no, you can't use linear phase EQ for that. My answer is yes, I can. 
because this particular low cut is designed to be very tight to go infinitely down that I can uh, even get rid of the C offset. Not all low cut filters would go down, say, to minus 144 dB whatsoever to get rid of the C offset. Majority of cut filters would kind of uh, have a stop band and roll back, which is called ripple. This low cut works great. Usually I create a little bump at the very sub area. The starter here is usually 0.71, which is uh, not as steep and it doesn't have a bump. And this bump is very nice for sub-bass area, and it's not a lot, it's just a half of a dB. Secondly, the reason why the EQ Orange is so special for me is its ability to sound correct and natural when I remove resonances and clean up the lower mid-range uh, when compared to other EQs. Suddenly the mix seems to appear light and uh, comes out from the loudspeakers with uh, more ease so that it gets ready for subsequent treatments, which I do further with other EQs in my mushroom chain. Now let's have a listen and be how it works in practice on this uh, acoustical project. You will see all my settings on the screen. My second top uh, EQ is uh, Pulsar Massive. It is an emulation of one of the most uh, famous EQs around, the Massive Passive. It uh, accurately models the original, but adds a modern feature set on top. So I um, uh, all, almost all, always, uh, almost always, uh, all famous um, emulations um, like uh, UART version and uh, Acoustica Audio one and the uh, Pulsar version has more weight to me. The transformers make a huge difference. The low end on the Pulsar is so nice and very solid sounding uh, to me. And when I push the mids a little more on the Pulsar it doesn't get edgy um, rough sounding, so to say. It's not a surgical EQ, it can do some tighter curve uh, shapes only in the low end, and um, it comes with uh, some special curves for the low and high band. These uh, make it useful for specific tasks like boosting a sub bass without affecting the upper bass region or adding top and air without adding harshness uh, below. Pulsar Massive also models the tube amplifiers and uh, inductors in Massive Passive. This means you can drive it to introduce saturation and uh, subtle dynamic behavior. It can be moved to sound clean or uh, colored, depending on how hard you drive it. And uh, you can also choose between two different types of uh, transformer saturation or bypassing it 
uh, entirely. I find the sound of the saturation in this plugin a very useful one. Most of the time I don't push it. I use it subtly. It can enhance the material in a nice way and make things uh, pop up better. It sounds great and I particularly enjoy how comfortable it is to work with. The features, user inter interface and attention to detail all come uh, comes together in a very nice way. So now let's have a listen and a be how this EQ work in practice on the same uh, acoustical uh, uh, track um, as a second EQ. So and you will see all my settings on the screen. Mm -hmm. 